Hello viewers, and welcome back to uh, Renowned Explorers. More to explore. Uh, we're gonna explore a little bit, a little bit of the more. What am I saying? Man, what a bad intro. This, Andean Adventure. This is the new three-star expedition, and I think that our group is actually pretty well suited for it. Uh, we're good at being devious. Uh, if they think these cultural clashes will be best solved devi devi uh, devious, that probably means that some of them are aggressive, and we're good at dealing with that as well. Uh, we have a rogue, we have a survivalist, we have an engineer. Expl expect plenty of research and status. We do love research. Let's go find out. New content. Let's all be let's all be excited for new content. I don't know what I'm saying, but the caffeine level in my blood is starting to dip. All right, you made it to the mysterious Andes range. So far, so good. Harry feels that getting here is already a great achievement. Navigating the mountains was extremely difficult, even with the state-of-the-art blimp. I like it better when they call it an airship. It makes me feel like things are a little more steampunk than they are, maybe. But before the crew has time to orient themselves, a group of warriors finds them. Foreign intruders, they must have come to topple our emperor. Get them! I think that that's a totally reasonable response. Uh, this is very, this is very sensible, especially when they figure out that the real reason we're here is to steal all of their, uh, all of their cultural trinkets. All right, well, we need to defend ourselves. You see, because Agatha is a level one tactician, we get to start the encounter with a buff, the tactically prepared buff, which will give us a little bit of bonus defense on the first uh, round or two. All right, well, if we defeat them in any way, we get some of their money. I think we're gonna, obviously, we're gonna try to finish Devious. I would love to study tokens. What do we have here? I've never seen these guys before. A truly devoted warrior grows more confident with each turn. Don't let him stay confident as it will unlock his full power. He's weak against sadness. That's very unfortunate for him. In fact, they're all weak against sadness. Well, actually, we only do have the one sadness attack, don't we? What a shame. Actually, hold on. So this guy has 100 spirit. This guy only has 60. They have zero points of natural defense, so... I'm going to open up aggressive. That'll put us into... Uh, put us into hostile mode, and then our... Our devious attacks will be more powerful. Hmm, not quite powerful enough, sadly. That's a large cone. Uh, I think it still makes the most sense to do this, then. If there's no way for us to one-shot him, we'll just have uh, Agatha come back here and... finish him off with Terrify, and that'll shift us back into devious attitude just in time for their turn to start. That, uh, that weapon that guy's wielding is interesting. Alright, we're not going to do anything terribly different here. Oh, that's right, her Terrify is especially effective. Actually, I wonder if... He has 33 speech. Her 40 speech plus Terrify probably is sufficient to get the one shot, actually. We're just gonna punch this guy to death, because there's not really a good reason not to. We got enough devious points stored up, and punching him didn't actually change our dominant attitude, so. Ah, my feelings! <laughs> Hit him right in the feelings. These invaders will, sh will surely try to stage a coup against our glorious emperor and take our national treasures. No, just the second one. An emperor that guards... <laughs> they don't have even the slightest bit of self-awareness. They're like, ah, oh, treasures, hmm. There's an emperor who holds great national treasures. Judging by the aggression and defensive attitude of the warriors you just faced, that emperor is not very friendly. Or, you know, he's afraid of a bunch of crazy people coming in and trying to steal everything. Uh, interesting. I wonder what I wonder what this choice actually does. So is this one big? Do I think this is one big understanding, 
Does he sound ruthless and oppressive? Yeah, I think I'm just here for the treasure. Let's see if we can find it. I don't I don't care about other things. You already know what to look for. The palace and the emperor. You're not sure what you're going to do there, but you know you have to be careful with the Imperial Guards. Time to go exploring. So, we can see that we've got a couple of uh, large structures visible from the beginning. Going to deal with Ivan here. Plus 25% power when he uses Pinning Strike while the current attitude is aggressive. Uh, also, he gains Primal Roar. So, it does uh, an AoE one space around himself. Uh, it, uh, has a Terrify attached to it. Notice that it has a 100% hit chance, unlike his other Devious ability. Uh, has an increase of plus 20% speech per surrounding enemy, plus 40% speech power if he's enraged or confident, which he usually will be, and increased aggro. So that's a pretty good ability. Alright, well, let's not- let's go to the node that isn't the empty node. You find an unknown precious stone. Ivan wants to research its properties, but Agatha thinks it's a better idea to sell it. Is that... I think maybe they got the names backwards there. <laughs> oh wow, it's a discovery token. So six collect tokens, which would be... a little more than 60 gold versus a discovery token, which is buffed from our stuff, right? So, aren't our discovery tokens really good? Yeah. Yeah, wow, that was a... That was a very easy choice for people who have taken the discovery token improvement in uh, in that research project. A band of rebels is training in the jungle. They're quick to mock your foreign origin. Look at these weirdos. I bet they don't know nothing of jungle tactics and will be sitting ducks when attacked by the Imperial Guard. I mean, Ivy can just punch them. Doesn't seem like rocket science. That one rebel makes Harry think of Rivalu. Hmm. So we could display to them our tactics. Minus 10 armor for the rest of the expedition if we fail. Or we can just take a campaign token for ignoring them. For being the bigger man. Hmm. I wish I knew what kind of... What kind of stuff we're going to face here. I'm reticent to do this with Ivan. Because Ivan losing armor would be a real bummer. Agatha, though... I'm actually going to roll the die here. Um, it's most likely that we'll fail, but if we succeeded, it would be really cool. Three study tokens is not uh, not a small amount of research anymore. And her losing armor, I don't think actually is that bad. We can use Ivan to control aggro a lot. Yeah, okay. That was the likely result, but I think it was worth the, worth the gamble there. When discussing tactics, Agatha creates a morale-boosting rally... With uh, with yells of which everyone knows that it, uh, which yells of which everyone knows that it attracts jaguars in a three mile radius. Stupid, stupid, stupid. It's true. We know nothing about the jungle. This crew, the crew discovers a bird that has never been seen before. You document it for future generations. Okay. So let's see exactly what the deal is with these places. You arrive at a town that is remarkably peaceful. Local guards are being bombarded with flowers, and people are singing songs together in protest of the current government. Looks like the people of this town have a strong non-violent tra tradition. A local leader welcomes you. Welcome to Atiko, foreign friends. I'm Apichu. As you can see, the people here are angry with the current oppressive regime. We believe in finding a peaceful solution. Okay. Oh, so we can, like, travel to the other cities more quickly? Let's... can we help with something? You see, our wise alderman has left our Attico in search of spiritual growth. But now he's gone. We miss his enlightened guidance in these troubling times. It's getting out of hand. My neighbor Henri almost threw a pebble at the guards! Unheard of. Okay, so we, we can maybe find this guy. That would be helpful to them. Is there something else we can do for you? Uh, no, we're just gonna leave. So, it would cost two uh, supplies to walk directly to here. We're just gonna walk to here and then down to here for the same amount of supplies, but getting to visit an extra node. Keeping your eyes open is imperative to finding something valuable or interesting. By the way, um, I didn't say anything. I should probably have mentioned it, just so everybody's clear. We're getting three study tokens every time we get to... every time we go to a nature... Uh, node, so we're going to go to all of the nature nodes that we can. 
With the right focus, you find what you're looking for, but the real victory is that you didn't find any llamas. Yeah, screw llamas. Alright, so, possibly more supplies? From a short distance, you can see some people performing a religious ritual. So we dance in joy for Mama Pacha and hope she'll bring us greater fertility. So we could observe the ritual for, sci for science, we could steal their supplies, or, ah, we can let Harry do both because he has the mischief perk. So sometimes levels of being a rogue, for example, are useful, just like levels of, oh, you have two levels in engineer, plus 40%. But sometimes these specific perks also come into play. So because he has the mischief perk, we have this option to steal their food and get a discovery token, which is really valuable to us. Uh, it might be a crappy thing to do to interrupt the religious ceremony in this way, but uh, here we did. Here we go, we did it. <laughs> By using a makeshift megaphone, Harry distorts his voice and speaks loudly. Typo. Children, I am Mama Pacha. Leave your offering of herbs and supplies. Then go celebrate at home and work the fields. I have spoken. <laughs> it works. They all leave something behind and depart. Sneaky, but every little help, every little bit helps in this hostile place. I gotta talk to. I had to offer them my services as an English language editor. Um, that feels like kind of a crappy thing to do, but hey, discovery tokens and supplies. <laughs> Alright, let's do a campfire story. Oh. Well, this is sad. We don't get to, we don't get to get any study tokens. I think I'll take the collect tokens. I think I want. Well. If I have the opportunity to trade resolve for No, if I had opportunity to trade resolve for food, I still would do it. Five is five is enough resolve. Let's get some collect tokens. The crew spends the night going through some of the trinkets they've collected. With an appraising eye and a healthy discussion, the crew discovers that some pieces are worth more gold, more gold than they thought, I guess. Sometimes it pays off to take a second look at things. That's quite a bit more gold. Uh, so... Do I want to see if this is the secret stash? Nah. You arrive in a small Incan village. Harry is not sure whether this particular village is with or against the Emperor. Agatha notices some signs with red crosses through them. Then the villagers greet you. Good day, friends. At least, that wholly depends on your opinion of the Emperor. They're expecting an answer and you don't know which. Time for a gamble. Um, the Emperor is crummy? Good guess. The villagers believe you speak wise words and promise to spread your wisdom. The crew showed great knowledge of character. Cool. Do I want to battle them just for XP, basically? Well, it's not just XP, though, right? The villagers are infuriated that you cannot see the Emperor for what he truly is. I, this is kind of a silly thing to do, but I really want the, um, the tokens that we're going to get. So we got four villagers. These guys are weak, weak to sadness. They are going to be either devious or aggressive, which means we want to be devious. That probably wasn't actually necessary. Um, you know what? Let's just be sure. I know that this is maybe not an optimal use of Primal Roar. But I wanted to be sure that we got the guy. Actually, I bet um, I bet Lecture would have taken them both down after the shot. I'm just I'm acting before I observe all of my options. All right. Uh, one thing about this ability, and so a lot of the abilities with cooldowns are like this. It gains power each turn that it's off cooldown. So after using it, you can use it um, right away again, but if you give it a couple of turns to percolate, it gets better. Wow. Agatha is like a god to these people. <laughs> wow, okay, okay, your opinion is the right one. Let's leave us alone, damn. Alright, let's see what... Uh we found the old fart! That's not very respectful. The wise alderman from the peaceful village of Attico is meditating in the mountains. 
He's surrounded by some very serious looking monkeys, always with the monkeys. You approach the man, but he quickly stops you. No, no, travelers. You've yet to show your true spirit. Om. That's a cartoon meditating noise that people don't actually make in the real world, I think. The alderman continues. I know why you're here. The clouds have spoken to me. If you seek my guidance, you must show you are at one with nature. Show it by conducting diplomacy with my primate brethren. They want me to... He wants me to talk to the monkeys? Okay. So... Neither of us are... None of us are diplomats, none of us are speakers, and Agatha is far too serious to, to fall for this nonsense in the first place. Look at all these tokens, man. And we gain the Peace Poncho. But if we fail this roll, we lose a resolve. We also have the option of just clocking this dude. It's possible he's screwing with us. Let's find out if he's screwing with us. You don't know why, but Harry had to do this, and it felt good. You have to flee from the army of enraged monkeys, though. This story will surely go down brilliantly among the more conservative explorers. <laughs> Darn hippies. Ah, uh, well... I thought it was possible that if I, you know, if I talked to the... D he'd be like, aha, I was messing with you. Oh. Uh, okay. So, there's supplies down here, but... We go down here, and then we have to spend two supplies to get to the next node. Uh, whereas, over here, it costs us one supply to get to this node, and then we get a free trip to that node. I think we're gonna um, end up seeing more stuff if we go this way. You come across a small Incan patrol, led by one of their fierce commanders. Fortunately, they haven't seen you yet, and the terrain ahead provides some cover, but the group has spread out and is patrolling in complicated patterns. So we could try to just evade them, but Agatha knows some stuff. She instantly recognizes the patrol pattern. Agatha explains a way to make it past the guards. She will move along one route, and the rest of the crew should do the following. Crouch 50 feet north, wait for 10 seconds, then run 90 feet west. Time to execute the plan. But what was it again? Uh... Uh, it was definitely this one. It was the bottom one. This is <laughs> this is cute, though. I bet a lot of people click through really quickly and then go, uh... The crew safely makes it past the Incan Patrol. You're ready to continue the adventure. So we could just take the study and the two encounter tokens. I see no reason to fight. What we would have gotten was the study and, I guess, XP. We don't need the XP that badly. Alright, well let's step up here and we'll, uh, we'll get to go to this other city. Your crew is enjoying the beautiful sights in these old and mysterious lands, when suddenly Agatha is knocked over by a bunch of running Incan warriors. They've gone mad! Run! Who's gone mad? Oh no. Before Agatha can get up, she is trampled by a small young llama and is badly hurt. Its family arrives at the spot, obviously enraged. They seem to think you're trying to steal their baby. Are they wearing lipstick? Hmm. Let's try and calm them down. With violence. And, and sadness. We will calm them with violence and sadness. Okay. Um, but, uh, so it looks like four of the same creature. Don't be friendly to this dramatic opponent. It will attack or spit at you one turn and just not care the next. Alright, they're easily enraged. They are not easily impressed. Uh, very low speech defense. Okay. So Harry can't quite get the the one shot. Agatha started the fight injured uh, because of the trampling, all of the trampling. Hmm. Okay, let's revert her move. So she has three movement. She might be able to get to these guys. She might be able to get close enough to these guys to hit them with lecture. Anyway, so I'm going to try to take this guy down with just um, just these two. Oh, that looks like it's not going to be enough. Yeah, not quite. Well, crap. All right. We're going to finish him off friendly. Because she can't, um... This is melee range, and I don't want to blow lecture just yet. 
So we're probably those are the only friendly points that we're gonna get this whole uh, time, probably. So it's not a big deal. Mean. That was um quite a lot of damage. Wow. Powerful. Hmm. These are actually fairly impressive enemies. Uh, we took a lot of damage there. I'm not opposed to killing them if that, you know, turns out to be a better play. Alright, we'll do this because it's very effective. Now, Ivan can certainly finish that one off, but I think actually... This is a much better play, and now we uh, now we can execute pin on this one to try to keep him from attacking Agatha. Although I guess Ivan's health is low enough that it's not really a great idea to force things to attack Ivan either. Okay, he survived. Uh, it looked like the other one just chose not to take a turn, which is interesting. Alright, so that'll finish one of them off while damaging the other. And this looks like it will be just barely insufficient. Oh, no! Okay, so if you notice, the bar wasn't all the way full. The the damage predicting bar. Um, there's, a, there's a random element, a small random element to the damage output in this game. Um, but what the bar shows you is the minimum damage you can deal. Which I actually think is a really good way of doing it. I think a lot of games would tend to show you the average damage, but I really like um, your attack will always be at least this good. I think that's a really good way of signaling. A llama herder arrives. Wow, thanks for saving my llamas. The soldiers you just saw were trying to take the young one. Llamas are incredibly valuable. Here, take this gold. The llamas look a bit sad, though. What did you do? Hey, listen, guy. I, I call him like I see him. I'm not going to pull my punches about Alama's behavior. This city is ravaged, but its spirit is still strong. Rebels are training hard, and villagers are repairing the defenses. There are no Imperial Guards to be seen. Ah, a rebelling city. A veteran rebel leader greets you. This is Vilcambaba, Vil Vilcabamba. You're safe from the Emperor here, travelers. We are the last city to actively resist the clutches of our dictator. I am the rebel leader, Huena Kapak. Um, if you are South American, and you are observing this, and I am, uh, saying things wrong, or using, you know, stresses in the wrong places, and I sound like an idiot, I would like to apologize. I have no idea, uh, what, what South American languages usually sound like, so I'm probably doing a very poor job of imitating them. Can we help your cause? Oh, wait, actually, we might be able to help fix their town defenses, what with our, um, tactics. So we could pay a supply to gain four collect tokens, we are not going to do that. Can we help your cause? So you know what it might be? There's three cities. It might be that one of them is friendly, one of them is aggressive, and one of them is devious, and they give you tasks that are suited to those um, to those traits. Because that other thing would have been easier if we were a friendly party, probably, because we, we'd have a speaker. And, uh, we could absolutely use the help of some seasoned adventurers. While spirits are still high, the Emperor has switched tactics. He's now looking to desecrate the hero's relic, an important legendary item that embodies the people's resolve. You must find it before the Imperial Guard does. Find treasure? All right, man. I think we can do this. We don't know exactly where the hero's relic is. Even worse, the Emperor does seem to know. Our spies have located an Imperial search party. I'll mark the location of the search party. If you go there, you're bound to find out more. Well, I wish we'd found this before we were out of supplies. Um... Okay. So we can pay to collect to teleport, basically. <sighs> if we go to Attico, it's only going to cost us a couple of points of supplies to get to that location. Mm. Let's let's go to the other to the trade post. I wonder if we'll be able to acquire supplies here. You arrive at a small trading post in the middle of the jungle. It's actually a pretty nice, relaxing and nice place. Can we please buy supplies? 
Welcome to our small trading settlement. Here you can hop on a llama and travel the lands quickly. Or you could trade some of those exotic goods for gold. Uh, yes, let's trade, please. I see you have some exotic, exotic baubles. I'll pay you handsomely for them. Wow. That was just free. Okay. So let's go down here and get supplies. Maybe it'll be like a lot of supplies. The crew accidentally trespasses on a hostile village. Dozens of villagers angrily face the crew. You're not going to convince them all individually, and knocking a whole village out wouldn't go down well with the ethics committee. Yeah, like we actually have an ethics committee. Alright, we're very unlikely to succeed at this, but the payout for succeeding is really high. We're gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. With a combined effort and the clever targeting of village elders, the crew wins over the hearts of the villagers. Agatha almost botches it, predictably, but Ivan makes a smooth recovery. Everyone is invited for a feast where you exchange ideas. The leftovers of the feast are packed in a llama bag and given to the crew as supplies, and also three study tokens. Cause hell yes. Alright. We might be able to, if we go here, and then this note is something cool, we might be able to then make it to here and... Man, that's asking a lot. Some Incan tools are scattered along a roadside, uh, scattered alongside a road through the mountains. It looks like someone lost their cargo. Maybe someone can engineer a useful tool out of them. Yes, maybe. So we can just take and sell them. Or, Harry could lose five armor. Uh, but there's a chance that we would get uh, a tool, which is actually really nice to have. A tool lets you just add 25% to the chance of any adventure wheel roll. Um, plus, study tokens. And again, I don't think a small armor loss is really that big of a deal. Oh, 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 yes! We're getting a little lucky here. With exciting ingenuity, Harry creates a very useful tool. Ivan can't believe what he's seeing. Is Harry some kind of Incan wizard? Yeah, he looks real Incan. Alright, well, we're gonna go to the nature node, obviously. Three, uh, study tokens just for showing up. The crew moves through the twisted canyons and paths in the mountains. But around the next bend, they face an unpleasant surprise. A military checkpoint! A couple dozen warriors and disciples are commanded by a loyal commander. A couple dozen warriors could be a serious problem. Some foreign spies have come to destroy our culture. We will let no one pass by the Emperor's command. Alright, well engaging them would be crazy. We could still get there, but it would cost an extra supply to go around. But, we should have... Uh, both sneaking and climbing ability. If someone sneaks past the checkpoint, he or she can get up to a higher ledge and from there drop a rope. That way the crew can get around the checkpoint. So we've got a 66% chance to succeed at that. Or we could try to have Ivan climb, which is also a 66% chance. Uh, so if we do this, we'll get four study tokens and a collect. If we do this, we'll get two campaign tokens and two study tokens and a collect. If we fail at the other thing, we lose a bunch of tokens. I'm sure you saw a tumble costing us three tokens of each type. If we fail at this, we just lose grit. I think I would rather try this first. Because the penalty for failure is, is a little bit less harsh. Even though the value of success is a little uh, less impressive. Harry sneaks, successfully sneaks past the guards. Cheerio, mountain monkeys! That's maybe a little insensitive. With a little extra effort, Harry drops a rope from a higher ledge for a safe passage. Okay. So... Moving to here will effectively only cost us one supply. Because we only have one to give. Let's see how many supplies we get from it. The crew collects as much as they can for supplies. So, we went to two. So we could go one, two... We'd almost certainly take a hit here. We'd take another hit moving to here. Oh, man. That's a lot of supply loss. But I really want to see what we get if we do this. All right. We're going to go and we're going to eat a bunch of penalties in the name of science. Not in-game science, but the other kind of normal real-world science. You find the search party looking for the hero's relic. The emperor has just addressed them and is about to leave. A hundred gold pieces for the man who brings me the burned remains of this relic. Don't let your glorious leader down. 
The Emperor and his entourage are about to return to the palace. Now's your chance to strike before they set out. I am tactically prepared for that. I haven't actually shown the, um... Oh, let me move this over. So, big payouts for friendly and devious completion here. Obviously, we'll be going for devious. So these guys are pretty familiar. These are uh, a lot less spirit than the other ones had. Okay, so the guys in red are weak against sadness. The guys in blue are weak against being terrified. Which I think makes this a pretty natural move. That'll get their attention. Out of curiosity. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, I can't not do that. Look at the value. Uh, so, we got three points of hostile there. Uh, one point for doing a hostile move, and then one point for each of the enemies that we defeated. Oh, uh, no. Well, she can't do anything of value this turn. By the way, this is what the Tactically Prepared buff does. It does not, inc in fact, increase defenses. I was misremembering. It increases your attack and speech. That's actually way better than increasing defenses. Ending encounters is a really good way of making sure your people don't die. Alright, but we want to drop both of these guys um, with deviousness to be sure that we get the devious outcome of the battle. This is a pretty easy one, though. <laughs> Truly horrifying. <laughs> Alright. Good, good. So, uh, study, status, yeah. Good stuff. You break their self-confidence. Did you hear what Agatha said about my tunic? It's a proud heirloom that I got from my grandmother. Go use that rag to wipe your tears, sucker. Now where's the hero's relic? Oh my god, of course, it's a billion, a billion years from here. The hero's relic is stashed away in the hero's tomb, deep inside the mountains. A pretty uncreative place to hide it, but Harry guesses it makes sense. Ah, oh, man. So Ivan loses attack power, that's a bad outcome. It would be one, two, three, four hops, five hops to get there. We go one, two, three, take the road over. I mean, there'll be nothing left of us by the time we get there. Oh, I want it really badly. I was really hoping that just it would be here, but no such luck. We're going to have to head to the end, I think. Agatha loses speech defense. Okay, we're pretty crippled. The palace, treasure guarded by the dictatorial emperor, must lie within. Once you face the emperor, the expedition will come to an end. Are you ready to enter the palace? Alright, so we know, in the future, we want to um, take the Andean Road and visit all the, visit all the places on it right away so we get all the information. The crew regroups to plot a roguish diversion. The palace is too heavily guarded. It looks like it will be a tough challenge, unless you're hairy. It would suck to fail this. Please don't. I'm not using my tool because I don't know what's coming up. There may be a, uh, a more difficult check before the boss encounter. Great. With some clever sneaking, Harry passes the guards and opens a side window. This creates a route for the rest of the crew to safely bypass all those guards. Now we can enter the palace undetected after Harry's roguish maneuver. I don't know how roguish opening a window really is. The crew walks down a hallway that is decorated with statues and carvings of the undisputed Emperor of the Incas, Typo. The atmosphere is getting heavy. Ivan knows that you'll face the Emperor right after opening the next door. So we throw open the door, and there he is, the Emperor, surrounded by his Imperial Guard. The Pretenders! They're here to overthrow your beloved leader and destroy the Incan lands! Alright, easy, Tiger. Aren't we jumping to conclusions here? Uh, so, okay, we get different results for or different rewards for saying different things. We can say we've come to free the Incan people, in which case we'll, we'll uh, get an encounter token and obviously we'll have to fight him. Uh, we get some collect tokens for saying that we just want treasure, some study tokens for saying that we support him, and some campaign tokens for saying that we're here to topple your government in favor of a more explorer-friendly one. Uh, let's do the thing that gives us study tokens. I don't support the Great Emperor, but we can always double-cross him later. 
The Emperor is not impressed. I will have none of this. Warriors, round them up for punishment. He looks like a formidable force. You'll need to break his concentration. Alright, we'll see. So, boss encounter? We actually didn't find a treasure. Uh, we definitely had the opportunity to get some treasure, and I just kind of failed to do it. But uh, So, let's see. If we move her here, can she get her sadness cone on both of them? She can. Cone of Sadness. These guys have zero armor. Uh, you can't use this if you're adjacent to an enemy, right? Yeah. What if we fired it from right here? Ah, uh, we don't quite hit the, uh, the general. Alright, hold on. Oh no, Ivan can't get far enough to roar at all of them simultaneously. That was really my, uh, my hope. Okay, so this does 75 times attack, which means that his attack actually would be totally sufficient when drop one of them. His enrage also will drop one of them. Ah, uh, they have enraged resistance. Let's have him punch one. Take that, nerds. Oops, I was trying to click, I was like, I pressed the button and I was like, oh, that's not very much damage, do I have a better option? And I went to click on him to see what he's weak against, and, uh, yeah, since I had him targeted, clicking on him, of course, fired the attack. That was pretty bad. Listen, I don't need to be good at video games. You, you guys don't want to watch somebody be good at video games. Uh, fortunately, Harry's standing in a bottleneck, so they can't actually both attack. Straight for Agatha. We may lose some resolve here. Oh, he's buffing up his dudes. He's made them all confident. Uh, so Harry can fall back and figure this out. Let's see here. All right, so we can terrify her out, or terrify him out with Agatha. Harry can't actually get over there. Or, um, Ivan. So Ivan can't participate very much at all. Ivan can do this, though. Heal Harry for a little bit. Give him some, uh... Give him some extra speech power. Yeah, the only thing that makes sense to do is to enrage this guy. The odds of it getting a uh, kill are too low, but we don't have any other options. At least this way we have plus 25 grit. Okay. Alright, not bad. So these guys with the confidence, we know they, uh, we know they get benefits. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Use devious abilities now to make him lose his focus, or else he will shoot you with a gun. Uh, alright, well, these guys are weak against sadness. Oh, I don't have, uh, lectures on cooldown. Shoot. Hmm... Well, I can do this to try to control these guys. And I think I will. And then this ability has uh, increased aggro, so hopefully this guy will stick around and try to fight with Ivan. Agatha can run over here and hit this guy with Terrify. And I think, actually, Harry's gonna... Oh, we're so close to dealing enough damage. 
And this is the maximum damage for this ability. Well, I'm thinking that it might be that we have to, um... We have to depress him until he's not confident anymore to disrupt his concentration, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, yep, that's what it was. Alright, he's unable to shoot me in the face. Unfortunately, we are going to lose some resolve here. It's just going to happen. Unless we get a really lucky string of dodges. Okay, Ivan is in trouble. I took too many penalties, I think, from uh, supply failure. Well, that was pretty lucky. Wow! And then the dude did not... Wow! I think we did just get that, that big luck string that I was talking about. Okay, so... Oh, it doesn't hit him. Alright, at this point, I think I have to do this. It would be crazy not to. It's a shame that we don't have any more AoE. But we can reduce the number of... Uh enemies here pretty easily. So we can hit that guy really hard. But no, the thing the thing that makes sense is to have is to have both Ivan and Agatha remove one enemy from the fight. Let's reduce the number of possible attacks. Oh shoot. Not being thoughtful. We needed that grit. All right, Agatha, I'm going to trust. Yeah, with the plus 25% from the uh, thing being wrong, she is able to take that guy down and provide a block for Ivan. All right. Harry still had some grit, so my hope was that he would still be able to dodge, but uh, it didn't work out. Oh, but here comes shotgun time again. Okay, we can do this. So she has Lecture back. Lecture is strong enough to drop him out of Confident uh, immediately. And then Ivan, I think... Well, let's go over here and see if he can if he can kill the guy with one hit. He cannot, not even kind of. So I think, actually, then, his move is going to just be to pick Harry back up. Alright, this guy is weak to enraged, even when he's in his normal state. Which means Harry is in a good position to uh, really let him have it. Everybody thinks you're a clown. So it looks like this guy doesn't actually have any attacks. Like, he can buff up his dudes and he can threaten you with the shotgun, but if you, uh, if you just keep control, he doesn't actually have the ability to hurt you. So that's interesting. Four study tokens. All right. Holy smokes! You convinced the Emperor he's bad for the people! That's a first. You're right. I'm a lousy despotic tyrant and no one would, nobody would want to have di diplomatic relations with me. This country deserves better. I will resign and allow for a new president to be elected. I will also compensate you with my magnificent garb. Now to go get a boat to a topical island, tropical island with the treasury. That's sort of a victory for the Incan people, as long as they're not, you know, reliant on that treasury. I think it's interesting also that he didn't did not give any consideration to just being a better person. He's just gonna resign and let somebody else be a good person. Okay, so six campaign tokens. This is an Incan treasure thing. Or plus two to four status from campaign. Or, plus four study at the end of each expedition for each level of survivalist in your crew. Or, plus four study at the end of each expedition for each level of rogue in your crew. Well, I think that's a pretty obvious take. So that'll be eight right now, right? Yeah, and then we'll, uh, we'll take stealing next so that we get more, uh, more from the next two expeditions. That was pretty good. Uh, it seems like this is actually a pretty high-value expedition because there's a lot of stuff that we failed to do. And still, look at the payouts. It's crazy. Harry takes his place at the Incan Council that will determine the future leader of the Incan people. 
it becomes clear that a new and independent leader must be chosen. Harry would volunteer, but this is a matter for the Incan people. Still, the council is eager to hear if he has a candidate. I don't know. Then one member of the council jumps up. I heard of this generous and handsome man who travels the world. He sounds amazing and wise. Maybe he would like to lead us, if only for a year so we can set up a new government. We just need to write him a letter. I think his name was Rivalu. No way. But the council is hardly listening to Harry. They're extremely enthusiastic about the prospects of having such an amazing person rule the country. I've heard he's literally the best person alive. It's decided. Rivalu will be our interim president. Ah, probably if you save the guru guy, if you do the guru guy thing right, then you can suggest him. And that probably has some extra payout. The crew leaves the palace. That was quite the adventure, toppling a government and everything. Harry must admit, it was pretty fun. It wouldn't surprise Harry if this became a trend one day. Aww. But the world has not been fully explored yet. You take your discoveries and get ready to leave. Well, we did good, sort of. Sort of good. We only got one treasure. Uh, but we did manage to get two discovery tokens from other things. So we still, we still got all the discovery tokens I was hoping for. Uh, which will turn out to be quite a lot of research. And then also our study tokens are just bananas, and we got a ton of those. Look at all that. Wow. Okay, 539 research. Not too shabby. Also 600 gold. Now we're a sly scholar. Okay, with that great adventure behind you, you can send a report to an explorer welcoming city. This will unlock new possibilities on the world map. So, uh, we could get the Entourage Hall in Constantinople, or another equipment shop in Sydney, or three new jobs in Africa where we can spend our insight. The jobs in Africa where you can spend your insight are a little bit better. They offer um, two different types of tokens. So instead of getting, say, three study tokens, you would get three study tokens and three campaign tokens. But we do have a... Uh, Berlin specific bonus that lets us get more research and I don't want the other types of tokens nearly as badly as I want study so I think we're just gonna uh, skip that so the question is do we need a third equipment shop or would we rather have an entourage hall in constant the uh, entourage hall in Constantinople I think honestly let's get the other equipment shop I know we haven't really had enough gold to buy the coolest stuff anyway good day mate we here down under have heard about your recent adventures. <coughs> Unbelievable, mate. We would love to see those treasures you collected. Why don't you fly over in that fancy ship of yours and take a look at our adventurer shops, eh? See ya, Bell Summers, Kangaroo Farmer. Why is a kangaroo farmer writing the letter? How is that appropriate? Also, it's kind of shitty to just say that everybody in Australia must have something to do with kangaroos. Anyway. Outback Supplies. So, the, uh, the shop in... Music's getting a little grand. The shop in New Orleans has these books that are specially speech power boosting books. The shop in Sydney has uh, specially attack power boosting gloves. Um, these do these cause your attack to your a normal attack, just the, the the first ability on everybody's bar, to do a ton of extra damage against particular uh, emotions. Also. Naturalist Classical Physics, with our calipers. Um, so that stuff is probably going to be pretty useful for us. At, at the very least, I want Ivan to get some gloves. So that he can punch people even harder. We're going to go for a specialization over generalization. Because we could equip Ivan with books and try to just make him... Uh, make him decent at two different things instead of making him only really good at one thing. Okay, so gain a collect token if you resolve an encounter friendly. Obviously, we'd like to do this. Because um, we like study tokens. And this way, aggressive and devious are both really strong for us. Out of curiosity, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade just so that we know what we're looking at here. So we can get extra collect tokens from athletes, extra study tokens from archaeology, or just plus two campaign from spending insight in London. We can't hire any of these guys right now, obviously. Um... We could hire a journalist or a trader 
or a merchant. So do we want more gold from collect, more status from encounter, or more gold from encounter? I think we generally find more collect tokens than we do encounter tokens. Okay, let's uh, have a look at our research papers. We have a lot of research. So we're going to finish these, obviously. Plus one campaign and plus one collect when spending insight on study. So that's pretty good, and we got two insight out of it. And we've increased the renown we gained from research. So, lots of renown from research now. Uh, yep, 24% of any research gained is renown, and also we get more research from each study token. So we're getting a lot of points from study now. Uh, we get to go into... This is another plus two supplies. So we get to go into a new branch now. Uh, anthropology would give us research from our encounter tokens. Start every expedition with a tool. Get encounter tokens when spending insight to perform a study with an archaeologist or campaign with a diplomat. We don't have either of those things, so this isn't great for us. Um, gain plus one encounter when solving an encounter with a chosen attitude. So, uh, given the fact that encounter tokens will be giving us science at that point, that seems pretty interesting. Um, and then gain another plus one encounter when solving an encounter with a chosen attitude, and gain plus one supplies when solving an encounter with a chosen attitude. So, I think going to anthropology next makes sense. Uh, let's see what else we have access to. This would give us a tool. Uh, plus one to three research from collect tokens. Oh, that's compelling, actually. Plus two collect when a rogue or an engineer ex uh, succeeds on the adventure wheel. He's not a level three in either of those things, but... We'll get level 3 Rogue next time he levels up, which will be uh, the next time he does anything. And we can get um, we get those Calipers and make him a higher level Engineer. So that's actually pretty neat. And then plus 3 Supply Capacity. Yeah, I think we want to do this. Oh, and this unlocks the equipment shops that we just chose to unlock the hard way. Oh, well. Um, psychology has their plus supply thing up near the top, but it comes in the form of barter helpers who you then have to hire, and they're actually quite expensive. So you really only want to go into psychology if you are getting a lot of campaign tokens. And then history would give us plus 15 renown whenever we acquire a helper. Plus one insight, plus one insight after each expedition, but keep in mind, we're only doing two more expeditions. Um, yeah, this is all... A lot of this is stuff that scales... I think we're going to go to engineering next. So, we get a tool. I'd love to get improved cargo. That's a lot of research, so... And we only have four insight. But if we can get... If we can get to one more research paper worth of stuff then at least picking up effective equipment would be fine. So, Berlin University. Really good payouts from those tokens. Yeah, we're going to get one more research paper. We're definitely not getting two, so... <clears throat> we will go and... Take effective equipment so that the collect token we get from doing this will give us a little bit more research. You can see our victory point total climbing. Okay. Not too bad. And now we get to, uh... Did we get a discovery token when we got this? I think probably not. Um, now we get to do one more... Oh, we should spend our gold. Right, we have a lot of money. So, we don't need to get the calipers. Oh, the calipers are for naturalists, anyway. There is a there is a trinket for gaining engineer points, though. Is it here? Yes, the monkey wrench. Oh, except it's advanced tools, which I think he has already. Hmm. Well, that's not great. But let's get a cool new glove... Uh, gain the rogue sneaking perk, plus 5 armor. Gain the survivalist spotting perk with plus 10 speech when the mood is pleasant. Let's get some... So, our enemies are often terrified. But, 
Enraged targets have lowered armor. I wonder if it might be best to do this and then try to enrage people with Harry. No, let's take the purple gloves. Yeah. This is sort of the opposite of what I said about specializing earlier. Uh, but now we'll have we'll have good attack bonus against people who are terrified and good attack bonus against people who are enraged. Um, so we have 281 gold that we should probably spend on something. It might make sense just to buy some increased defenses with it. Like good boots for Harry. Yeah, let's do that. Um, if we sold this rusty ring, we would get 7, which would put us at 145. Actually, how much does this sell for? You know what we're going to do? We're going to do that. And that. And buy Agatha some armor as well. Okay. Now everybody's defenses are much better. We do, uh, we do still have 50 gold left over. Uh, sometimes you want to spend gold in an expedition. That's actually fine. We're up to 13 supplies. So let's have a look at our available options. The Emerged Island... Uh, ...is the usual choice. If you're going for a science-heavy crew, there's a lot of research to be had here. I think that's probably what we're doing. The other four-star choice is the Transylvanian region. A diplomat, beguiler, engineer, and quick thinker. Uh, you get a lot of status here. I think it's a, it's not as good for us. Um, so all of our expeditions are <laughs> clustered over here in the Western world. Uh, yeah, I don't think we really have a choice. This is just too good. So come back next time. We take on the Emerged Island with 13 supplies and crazy, crazy huge bonuses, and we get, I'm predicting, 1,300 renown right there. We're going to come out of this with 2,750. That's the call. Come back next time to see if I'm full of shit, and we'll see you then.